In Figma, we can apply constraints to artwork within a frame. Now, constraints let Figma know how to move and resize these items as the frame they're nested in is resized. So let's take a look at working with constraints. So make sure that layers are showing over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these icons and make them into a component, but we're gonna use constraints. So first of all, let's look and see what a constraint is. If you click on this image right here and look over on the right, you're gonna see constraints. Now, basically what this means is this object relative to its parent object, which is actually this frame, the login home, can sit somewhere. We can say left, right, left and right, which is gonna basically stretch it out, center it or scale it proportionally, essentially, in that direction, I should say. So we can stick it on the left, stick it on the right, however we wanna do this. So if I say left and I say top, if we go back to the home here, if you click on login home and take the frame and resize it or scale it, you're gonna see what it's gonna do is it's always gonna stick there. Now, what's really cool is you can do a lot of things with constraints and with the layout grids as well. All right, I'll press Command Z or Control Z to undo that. So we set an object, how it's gonna position, how it's gonna move or look based on the parent frame. So let's do that to these objects down here. First of all, I wanna draw a rectangle. So go to the rectangle tool and just draw a little rectangle down here and we're gonna make it so we have a little nav bar at the bottom. There we go. Let's change the color, come to fill. You can pick a blue, maybe the blue we used over there or a lighter blue. I'm gonna use a little bit lighter blue. Press escape to close that. I wanna send it behind these objects. So you can either drag it in the layer stack over there or right click on it and choose send to back. Zoom into it, press shift two so we can zoom in closer. And we're just gonna take these icons and we're gonna drag them in here. So whoop, make sure I'm gonna undo that. Drag the icons in here and we'll snap them in. Don't worry, we'll, we'll scale these and resize them and do different things as well. But get them in location here, in position roughly. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And what I wanna do is just shift click between them all. We're gonna scale them all to make them smaller. So shift drag to make them smaller. That yeah, looks pretty good. Click away and just put the one over here on the right and the one over here on the left where we want them to be. That looks pretty good. Shift click on all these and we're gonna use alignments to do this. So come up top to the alignments over here and let's do the align vertical centers. It's gonna move them all, that's okay. And distribute the horizontal spacing. Then we'll drag these up. All right, let's change the colors. So if you come to fill, you'll see that there are mixed colors here for fill. Just click on the plus. It'll allow you to replace it and click to replace it with a different color if you want, a gray, a light, white, whatever you wanna do. That looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna do is we're gonna take these objects and make sure that they all constrain properly so that they move properly, depending on the screen size we're in. So click on the rectangle, come over here to constraints and I don't want this thing to stay left and top. I want it to actually scale and it's actually not wide enough. I'm gonna make it wide enough, there we go. Now these icons, if we go to put constraints on them, they're actually going to be constrained to the parent element and they're gonna to constrain to these column guides. It's kind of crazy. So what we can do is we can actually take these icons and constrain them to this object, which currently is a rectangle, but we can only constrain to a frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stuff and we're gonna group them. We can take a group and turn it into a frame. So with this, Rectangle selected, shift click to select all these objects. You can drag across two, it doesn't matter. Group them together. You can right click and choose group. Selection, there we go. Now, if you look up here in the upper right, you should see the word group. Click on that and you can convert it to a frame. It's just taking the rectangle object, this guy here, and if you look in the layer stack over here and open it up, you're gonna see we still have all the objects and the rectangle. So it made a copy of it, but it put a frame around it essentially. Okay, with the frame selected, you can tell it's selected over here. Scroll down, and we're gonna add a layout grid to this. So click on layout grid, click on grid, come to columns. We're gonna say we've got four icons. So change this to four, set the gutter to zero. And what it'll do is it'll just put these lines out here so you can kind of see where they are. We'll make sure it stretches, that's good. Close this up. Now we can go to each one of the icons. And if you come in here and command click on Mac, or control click on Windows to select this icon. Make sure you actually have the entire icon selected. Right now, command clicking will select part of it. So I'll click on gear icon, come to constraints, and we'll do something like this. We'll say, I want it to constrain to the bottom and also the center, which will be the center of the layout grid column. Same thing here. Let's click on this object right here, the subtract, go to bottom, center. 
we can actually click on a bunch of these. So if you click on this one, shift click on this icon, we can do these together, bottom, center. And come to the rectangle itself. You probably have to go over here to the layer stack, click on rectangle. And we're gonna say this is gonna start at the bottom and we want it to actually be left and right. So we want it to kind of scale left and right. Okay, the last step here is to make sure that the frame is also constrained. So click on the frame, come over here to constraints. We're gonna do the same thing, go to bottom. And this time we're gonna take this one, kind of like the rectangle and say left and right. And that should do it. That's gonna take the frame and the rectangle, make sure they stretch left to right and stick on the bottom and the same with these. So press shift one so we can see everything. Click on the frame, click and drag, and we got it. So press command Z on Mac or control Z on Windows. If you want to, you can actually take this object and turn it into a component by selecting it and clicking create component. That way you can copy this, go to each one of the frames out here and paste it in place. Now this is gonna get a little tight over here so we might need to do a little bit of arranging. I'll move this up a little bit, move the buttons up a little bit. Yeah. I might I might have made the buttons a little bit smaller, but that's okay. So working with constraints is great if you have to put content on different size screens or scale a screen, for instance, or do something like you just saw working with a nav bar. The last thing we're gonna look at in this section is called versioning. 